Well, testing batteries, charging batteries, and replacing batteries, you can do it all day long, and if you don't have a good charging system, your battery is going to drain. And it's not necessarily a totally in-op charging system, it's a charging system that's not working properly. The wrong alternator, for example, with the wrong part number regulator. It fit, it turned, it aligned with the brackets and so forth, but it didn't charge properly. So that's why you want to not only test the battery and test the charging system with the same tester, whether it be the old style or new style, you also want to take a scan tool that is OE level or an, o, or an actual factory tool that can read powertrain, body and chassis, all codes and all modules, because you may have some codes in the BCM. BCMs are active in charging systems for things like load shedding to prevent the battery from running down when the load is extreme on the vehicle and also battery management systems. We see the sensor here between that SunBat 40 and that Delphi scan tool. This is also, by the way, not just a scan tool to pull all codes and all modules because some modules are involved in the charging system that we didn't necessarily know about. It also can program most all modules on all vehicles. Look up TSBs above all. Make sure there's not a TSB to update software to improve a parasitic current draw issue or a charging system performance issue. Oftentimes there are, and in some cases, like with General Motors as an example, you may not find a TSB, but there is a software update. So you go and Google GM Cal, C-A-L, ID. Just Google that, find that URL in your Google search list. It is a GM search engine, basically you put the VIN of the vehicle into a little field, you hit enter and you click on various modules. I would start with the powertrain control module for charging system issues and I also look at the BCM. You compare the part numbers of the software in those modules, which is the latest and greatest, to what's in the vehicle now, thanks to pulling those part numbers out of your car, customer's car, with your scan tool. And if you have part numbers that are older, in the vehicle than what your GM Cal ID website says is the latest and greatest, and the notes that say why the calibrations were changed in XYZ module really talks about the customer's complaint, battery rundown, charging light, or whatever, then you're justified to either use this tool to reprogram the computer in that car or have a mobile tech or some other a uh, friendly competitor come and do reprogramming for you in your shop as sublet labor. But have a plan for software updates because that can sometimes fix charging systems.